Of course, we can watch it in real time, and, and that's all we're doing. We're watching. We're standing and giving standing ovations. We're waving flags. We're wearing Ukrainian colors, and, and that's where it stops. And that's what's so disappointing. Uh, I was a cadet at West Point, graduated in 2004, but before I left, I had the opportunity to work at the International Criminal Court, The Hague. Uh, I, I interned there um, interpreting and, uh, and analyzing secret documents on Slobodan Milosevic's trial. That trial began because we used to have a Democrat president who understood how to put his foot down. We, you talked about uh, rocket and missile launches from within the country. Uh, ten weeks, ten week air raid, ten week destroying Slobodan Milosevic uh, and, and his ethnic cleansing thugs uh, in, in the country. Uh, and, and now we still have a, a presence in Kosovo to, uh, to solidify yes. that, 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 that region in that area. Uh, America used to not be afraid of thugs and communists like Vladimir Putin. And right now we have an, an American president who's afraid. We have an American president who's afraid of the Green New Deal uh, uh, peddlers out there. And he's afraid of cratering so, polling, which is what keeping him from doing the right thing. He's afraid of escalating tensions when really it's Vladimir Putin who should be afraid of Americans. Joe Biden canceled a routine nuclear test because he was afraid of a threat that, that Vladimir Putin made. Uh, we've come a long, long way uh, from, from when, uh, when we knew our history. We understood what's capable when these dictators, uh, uh, when we had the opportunity to, to kill these dictators uh, in, in uh, their ambitions uh, early. Uh, we're shirking that responsibility. We need to step up right now.